Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here, continuing our LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars story walkthroughs. This time we're doing Count Dooku Chapter 2 Gungum 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 General. Wow. Every time I think of that, I think of uh, Psy and that song, uh, Gangum style, whatever. Anyway, uh, true Jedi requirement is 180,000 studs. Uh, we, I do manage to get it in this video, so pretty, pretty simple. I mean, I do have the times two multiplier brick on, uh, which helps a lot. So, yeah, uh, this is another RTS. I was kind of surprised to see two RTS levels back to back, but uh, I mean. I, you know what? I, I wasn't at the meeting where they decided that was a good idea, so uh, it just caught me a little off guard. Uh, so I had to sped up a little, little more because it, it's it's for another pretty straightforward mission. Um, it's a lot of me just running back and forth because it's an RTS. I got to run back and forth and do stuff. So uh, yeah, pretty easy though. Uh, it helps if you know what you're doing. Um, I played this once and I found myself just not knowing what to do. So about halfway through the level, I just restarted it because it, it, it would have been like it would have been like a 30 minute video of me doing absolutely nothing for like 25 minutes of it. So I figured why not redo it, make it look a little prettier for you guys because, you know, you guys matter to me. I love you guys. My friends. I'm just kidding. Well, no, actually, I'm not kidding about that. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. So, uh, yeah, after this hilarious little cutscene with Jar Jar and I... I'm guessing there's some kind of joke as to why they sent Jar Jar and nobody else, but I don't know what it is. So if somebody wants to fill me in on that, then you can go ahead and do that. But uh, I found, well, just for fun, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you start with, but I decided to start with uh, this one in the back corner here. Uh, this is actually the only one that doesn't have like a gold uh, thing that you can't really destroy. But I found it easier to either jump on one of those uh, little sky rider things that are flying around or just to pull out uh, this guy whose name I actually don't know which I'm kind of embarrassed about and uh, just uses double pistols and the damage should go down pretty quickly but uh, there is a trophy for or, or achievement for you Xbox people god damn you guys you guys are killing me uh, but um, yeah there's a trophy or achievement for like commandeering 20 enemy uh, vehicles or um, like units so once they get down, like they go down on the ground, I suggest you jump on the back of them real quick and use them for at least a couple seconds, just so that you can kind of grind your way out towards that trophy as you're uh, you're playing through the levels. At this point, I'm probably at about 15 or, or a little more, like around that number. So if there's another RTS or I'm doing some of the ground battles after the story or after the free play, I should have it no problem. I don't want to grind it at, at all. So I strongly recommend uh, doing that every time you get every chance you get. But if not, not a totally big deal because you can easily grind that out later on. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to try to get one of these little sky cycles here. And the easiest way to do that is actually to hop on one of those like little, uh, these guys. I don't really know what they are. But animals, and just charge at one of the vehicles. And once you charge it, the guy who's riding will fall off. And then you can go ahead and basically do whatever you want with it. Uh, it's worth noting that these bigger ones only have a certain amount of time before, um, like, uh, to watch call it the um, like the ships will come and like I don't know come after it. I, I really don't, I don't really know what else to call it, but yeah, you'll I think you'll see it here in a second. There you go. Like it sends out a signal, and the uh, the ship kind of picks it up and it like re uh, it uh it like spawns another one. So I I could not find a way to destroy those gold blocks. Uh, th there might be a way. Honestly, I don't. I don't think there is, and I think they purposely did that so you have an infinite amount of these uh, ships. But I could be wrong on that. But I, I don't think I am. Just not them trying to sound stuck up, but I just don't think I'm wrong about it. From my experience, anyway. All right. So the the whole point of this level is to destroy those little power towers that you can see down at the bottom corner there. Uh, but the way you have to do is you have to run over them using the uh, one of the ships, and you'll get the little purple glowing orbs on your back. And then you can use those to shoot them at the, uh, the towers, and it'll destroy the towers after three hits. So, pretty simple, um, as long as you know what you're doing, really. Other than that, it's, you know, not too difficult. But, uh, first of all, we're going to have to go, and you obviously and you cannot pick up those purple orbs with, a, uh, with those little animals. So, good to know. 
But, uh, first of all, to get the one on the left here, you're going to have to destroy this little shield generator thing here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I think I destroyed that by accident. But if you destroy five of those, you get a mini kit, so that's always good to know. And you can get that in story mode pretty easily. You can basically just farm them. So, there you go. You see, I ran over it, and I have three, but I cannot destroy that thing first, or yet, so we're going to have to take out this little thing here. And then once we do that, we can go destroy that tower. But I actually get a bonus trophy here, which is a uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. great shot, kid, which is for destroying a enemy unit using a proton thing. And I kind of did it by accident. I went to aim at the tower, and the, the cannon was kind of in the way. You might have saw it there in the back left, or back left, <laughs> bottom left. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a pretty easy way to do it. Just kind of line up, uh, the tower with something like with a cannon or something and just shoot and it should go right into it. And if you might have, you might have to hit one or two into it, but should destroy it. Uh, like I said, didn't mean to do it. It was, it was totally by accident, but you know, uh, just one of those things to look out for and kind of get out of the way if you have a chance to. All right. So, uh, nothing I can really destroy with this cannon, so I'm just going to go ahead and just destroy it. And we will move on. We'll get another vehicle, and we will destroy that proton tower. Or not proton tower, uh, power tower. <laughs> uh, there is, it is worth noting that there is, um, you can build your own, uh, proton little things. The purple blue, purple, <laughs> purple blue orbs. The purple glowing orbs you can actually build on your own in some ground battles. This one you can't, obviously, because you can't build anything. But, uh, yeah, it's worth noting that, just for the record, that you can do it. So, this is not the only level you can do it in. And there you go. Three shots to the tower, and it will be destroyed. Alright, so we're going to run over to this little shield here. We're going to pull that switch that we can uh, disable that generator. And now we can use our little shipping, shipping, <laughs> shipping, shipping, uh, uh, damn it. <laughs> uh, ship and proton little purple glowing orb so that we can... Uh, we can destroy that second power tower there. And I'm having the worst trouble trying to lock onto this thing. Every time I try to, like, it, it wants to focus on the cannon, which is kind of annoying me. But, uh, you know, it's okay. It, it's kind of like a double, double, double duck. Oh my god, I can't... Oof. I have no words tonight. <sighs> I, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I just... <laughs> my words are not coming to me, so I apologize. Just bear with me. We will get through this. There's only a few more minutes, I promise. Alright, so I'm going to hop onto this cannon here just so we can uh, make some ground on that trophy uh, or achievement. God, you Xbox people. Ugh. But alright. So we'll destroy that, get that out of the way. We'll grab those studs because we need to get to 180,000 and we are not close yet. So we need to step that up a little bit. But alright, let's go see if we can hijack a ship here and we will move on with this level. And I cannot destroy that because it is silver and I don't have anybody to destroy silver at this time. All right, so we'll grab one of these. And actually, the dude's right behind me, so we'll just knock him out of there real quick. We'll turn this ship around, and we'll grab those, and we'll, 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 there we go. That's all gone. All right, so grab these studs real quick. I do have the stud magnet brick on. If uh, I don't think I mentioned this video. Normally, I mention it. I don't think I did in this one. But, uh, yeah, so we will jump in here real quick, and we will, oh, I get flattened by that ship and killed. Oh, that's just awful. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think I mentioned it in this video, but I do have a stud magnet on. Obviously, times two is on as well. I actually, I show you where the times four brick is in the next video, so stay tuned for that if you're looking to get them legitimately. All right, so we'll take out this cannon real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, double pistols, <sighs> Call of Duty style. That's right. Alright, so yeah, we'll take over this cannon real quick. We'll use it to destroy the silver one that's over there. And then we'll get off and destroy this one. Grab all these studs first, because we want to make sure we get the 180,000, which we do right there. So that is all taken care of. And we'll grab a couple more just in case. Just in case we die or something. We don't want to lose studs and lose true Jedi. But alright, so now we're just going to hijack one more ship. Grab some more glowing purple orbs. And then we will be done with this level. So, not a very long level. Uh, pretty pretty simple as long as you know what you're doing. And there you go. Nope, I don't want to get on that guy. I want to get on that guy. There we go. Okay. 
There they are. They should be right in front of me here. There they are. All right. So there's one, there's two, and there is three. And that will do it for this level. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Not a very long level, but not terribly, ter ter oh God, a uh, terribly difficult level either. But helps to know what you're doing every once in a while. And we get a bonus trophy achievement as well. So that's always good. Totally by accident, did not mean to do it. That's two levels in a row. I accidentally got trophies and achievements, but hey, less work for us later on, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. As we got just very, very long cutscene. The yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So yeah, we unlocked free play, of course. We uh, we unlocked a new character, Commander Stone. We got the Mesa uh, Rescue You Trophy achievement. We did get True Jedi. We almost, we just barely made it, but we, we made it, so that's all that matters. Uh, add to our stud total, which gives us 2 million, so we can buy the times 4 brick, which I said we'll show you in the next video. So be sure to check that out as well. Uh, if you want the codes, be sure to check out our Hidden Enemy Story Walkthrough, which is linked to the playlist is down in the description. So you can check that out there. And yeah, that's it. So that's all I got for you tonight. No long story. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And check out our Google Plus page, and check out our new website that we launched a few, about a, a little while ago. Uh, yeah, and hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.